Hi, this is Rick Pedley, and welcome to GasSniffer.com. Today we're going to be looking at the BW Gas Alert Max XT2 Confined Space Gas Detector. Now, this is one of our most popular, and it comes with an internal sample draw pump, which many find very convenient when trying to draw a sample from inside of a vault, manhole, silo, or other confined space. Uh, we're, today we're going to be covering the uh, what comes in the box and the features. Okay, so let's take a look at what comes in the box. First, we get, of course, the detector itself, Gas Alert Max XT2. We get the wall charger, plugs into any AC outlet. Also available as an accessory is the 12-volt uh, charger adapter that goes in your car. Then underneath, Let's see what we got here. We got the uh, calibration certificate from the factory. And we get the manual, both in hard copy and in DVD format. And we get a screwdriver with five sets of replacement filters for the pump, as well as a particulate filter. It can go on the end of the hose. And we get two pieces of hose, one three feet long, one ten feet long. And they have the connector on the end that attaches to the, to the detector. Okay, so let's turn the unit on and see how it works here. With one button operation, I just press this one button right here and the unit's going to start going because the screen tells me the firmware version. That's what it is, Gas Alert Max XT. And now it's asking me to block the inlet. Please note that we have an internal sample draw pump, always sucking air. This is just a test to make sure that it's working properly. Now it tells me to unblock it, we're good. It says pump OK. Next, it's showing me the TWA, or Time Weighted Average Alarms, the STEL Alarms, then it goes with the low OSHA alarms and the high OSHA alarms. After that, it's going to go through a self-test, checking the battery, checking the sensors. Self-test OK. Next, it's doing an auto zero. So this means that, it, that we're in clean air right now, and it's going to zero the sensors to that. It next told me the calibration due in 159 days. Now, instruments running, we have all our sensors displayed. Hydrogen sulfide, carbon monoxide, LEL or explosive, and oxygen. And it's showing 20.9 on oxygen and of course zero on all the rest, we've just zeroed. One really interesting part of this instrument is while it is a pumped instrument, you hear the pump running, sucking air at all times, we can turn this into a diffusion instrument at any time. Really cool feature. So I'm going to take the included screwdriver and remove the sensor cover. The sensor cover, once it comes off, is going to tell this that there's no the pump needs to be looked at. You see that alarm? Okay. I press this button to acknowledge it, and it's turned the pump off. Sensors are exposed. It's a diffusion instrument. You're ready to go. Wear it on your belt, whatever you like. Or in the case of the pump failing, you still have a working instrument. This is a magnetic switch. I'm going to put this back on. Don't even have to screw it down. And just putting it back on there reactivates it. Alarm. All you got to do is acknowledge it. And it says block the inlet. So I'm testing the pump again. Unblock the inlet. Pump OK. We're ready to go. Now, you may have heard the uh, alarms. I'm going to shut this unit off now. It's kind of interesting when you do that. It's going to display all the alarms. That is, you've got the flashing lights, the unit vibrates, and of course it makes a lot of noise. So I'm just going to hold this down, and it's going to count down. Three, two, one, and it's off. Okay, so we've take, taken a look at what comes in the box. We turn the unit on and off. Things to remember are that it has an internal sample draw pump, very convenient. It has the, the three alarms, the visual, the audio, and the vibration. And um, the faceplate can be removed to turn this into a diffusion instrument if you'd like. Very popular instrument, lightweight, small and uh, pretty darn rugged. We sold a ton of these. Uh, people seem to like them a lot. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact us. We'd love to help you with your situation. Thank you.